morning. Welcome to another studio vlog. I'm back from vacation, so getting back into art and YouTube and everything. And I made a little list for myself for stuff to do this weekend. And I figured I would bring you guys along because, you know, why not? And this studio vlog is gonna be weekend edition. Woo! So spend Saturday and Sunday with me. Today is Saturday. Last week was super hectic at work because I literally missed two weeks. So I was cashing up on everything I missed. I didn't get to do any art stuff throughout the week because I was just so tired at the end of the day. So I made a list of all the art stuff I'm gonna catch up on this weekend. And it it's a long list, but I usually like over overestimate what I can do. So it's okay if we don't finish this whole list. I can check off the first thing actually. I posted my sketchbook Saturday over on Instagram. And next I'm going to do my sketchbook wrap up on Patreon. So that's just like a compilation of everything that has been in my sketchbook the past two weeks. It's really fun and then I do kind of like a blog like entry, like I just tell you what was up during those two weeks. It's super fun. I said I have to go to the grocery store today, so I don't know. My boyfriend said he's coming with Chipotle, so maybe I can hold off on grocery shopping like one more day. Like I really have no food and I'm not getting any nutrients. My body is shriveling. Yeah, fun stuff. I need to eat right now. I'm literally dying. <laughs> Two things. I made this yolk perfectly jammy. Um, and second, I love Mita Lee. That's it. <laughs> I'm just gonna start this. Start this dish pile again, okay? You know what? I just remembered another thing to put on this list. I'm gonna put go outside on this list because I have not been outside for this whole week like and that's really sad what I want to do now is finish up sketchbooking if you look on my camera roll hold on my camera roll it's just like so many photos of like random things that I wanted to draw later. I've been taking those and then going day by day what we did because one, I don't want to forget anything on the trip and I want to have it all like documented in my sketchbook and I don't know, I always feel really inspired after I travel because I'm like seeing new things and I'm like, ooh, that would be really cool to draw. Like I've never drawn that before um, and it just really gives me a lot of ideas. So I want to keep doing that. I did a couple over the course of this week and I'm like halfway through our trip so far in my sketchbook. Using this sketchbook, I wanna do a sketchbook tour video with clips from the actual trip because I did film a lot of it. And I really think it would be cool to like mishmash all of that together and do like one epic art travel video. Woo! Have some chill sketchbooking vibes. Are you ready? Yeah, okay. Oh my God, do you guys like check out that ring I had on? It is from Ana Luisa, the sponsor of today's video. Ana Luisa is a sustainable jewelry brand and they use recycled materials whenever possible and are 100% carbon and water neutral, which is super awesome. Not to mention that their jewelry is absolutely the cutest jewelry I own. So there's that. Okay, while I'm drawing this cannabis store right now, let me show you some of my fave new pieces. I always mention these fish ones. I'm obsessed with this fish set. I just love fish, 
but I recently just got this mood changing necklace, which is super cool. My friend has a matching mood ring. So we like wear it together and check out what each other's moods are. It's really cute. Love it. And I also got this really cute martini necklace. It is like the cutest little necklace ever. And there's like this green olive in it. I love it so much. Their pieces are high quality while also being affordable. So definitely if you want to check out Anna Luisa's jewelry, head to their website down in the description below and get 10% off with my discount KDMI10. Yeah, I literally love them so much. Everyone at the Ana Luisa team is so amazing. Um, and, you know, their rings look great while I'm sketchbooking. So I have no complaints over here. And, yep, just finishing up this spread. And then I'm going to play some music for you guys for the next spread. Pew, pew, pew. Pie. Okay, I feel like the end of that voiceover was really weird. So I'm sorry about that. next there were all these cool sculptures like wood sculptures there like this bear holding an ice cream um this bigfoot so i think i'm gonna draw these for this page and you could see the guy was like carving them right here and it was so cool he had like a huge chainsaw um so i think i'm gonna draw this place because it was such like an impromptu stop and it's fun fun times right here and then i'll put you guys somewhere over here too um, i decide to do reels like which artwork to do reels for is like super random if i kind of have an idea of what i want to do i most likely will do a reel for it but if it's like this page i just did that's like kind of off the top of my head i didn't really have like a plan for what i wanted to do I won't film a reel because it's hard to know like what parts to film and what parts not to film. I'm gonna do a reel for this next page because I do want to draw the tree, I want to draw bears. So I think that would make a good reel. And let's put you guys over here so you can look at the reel being made. Okay, let's see. How do I want to start this? going to move the camera this camera on the other side of me because my hand is blocking the piece so I'd rather like have the person see this side instead of this side thoughts make sense so I'm gonna move it over here and now you can see it looks like this so when I do it you could see like clearly what I'm doing and I freaking love this ice cream bear I'm so obsessed with him I was like me when I get a little treat and it's so cute! <laughs> Just finished this page obsessed with these bears i think i'm gonna do like another artwork featuring them so cute but i'm gonna take a break right now it's time for chipotle okay um <laughs> what the heck i just filmed a whole clip and apparently wasn't recording but this is what i said i'm gonna repeat it um i think i'm gonna do one more spread in my sketchbook so i did an ink one I did a color pencil one, so I think I'm gonna do a gouache one now, and I'm not even in focus. So I think I'm gonna do a gouache one now so I don't like get bored of any one medium. I have a haul. Now, at this point, because I already opened it on camera, I already opened it, but <laughs> I got um, these stickers from Rockin' Monkey. I just restocked my sardine sticker. They were having a buy 50, get 50 free promo. So I figured I would restock them while they were on sale. And then I got a birthday gift from my friend and she somehow knew what to get me because I have been needing these things, but I haven't wanted to buy them for myself. So she got me a lunchbox. Look how cute this is. Gingham, very cute. Put my sandwiches in it. It's from CalPAC. I love it. 
Got me a speaker, which I don't own a speaker at all, surprisingly, so this is gonna be really handy. And she also got me Yolk by Mary H.K. Choi, and I have had this on my TBR, and I have really wanted to read it, and I don't know how she knew that I didn't own it and I wanted to read it, um, but look at this cover. It's stunning. Oh, before I get back into painting. And then out of the other things on my list today, I think the only other thing I want to do is start on the September Patreon award so I have enough time to do the previews before the month ends. So, yep, and it is already 4.30. What the heck? What the heck? That's fresh, fresh paint water. So let's paint. I think I'm gonna do a spread for this photo that my brother took. It's really nice. It has the cliffs, it has the water. Great composition. I use this squash for it. drawing sunsets I feel like they're too like I don't know cliche I don't know if that's the right word but I'm just not a sunset person sunset drawer person and I don't like how these colors turned out bleh. Bleh, bleh. so I think I think that's enough sketchbooking for today I think I have exhausted myself okay I added these stars I think I like it a little bit more yeah that's okay yeah okay all right, yeah, close this. Bye. Haha, <laughs> I lied. I did one more. I wanted to see what I could do with like just using all my black and white materials. Like I have a bunch of brush pens. I used black wash and then just like regular pens. So that was that. I've exhausted all my creativity for today. So I'm gonna take a break. Clean this, this whole mess up and we will see where the rest of the day takes us. I'm gonna go out with my brother and my boyfriend because my brother just turned 21 so I think we're gonna go take him out to some of the bars we like to go to um so I need to do my makeup and I thought we would do like a little catch-up because I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a minute vlog style using the Fenty Beauty foundation love this foundation um, but yeah I thought we could just chat a little bit what has been on my mind um ooh, i should have put my hair back oh my god okay <laughs> okay what did i want to say i don't know maybe something is in the air recently but i've been feeling so burnt out and not from art i think it's just from like work and just life in general i feel like I don't know like I feel like I'm playing catch-up just taking up like so much of my time where I'm like I shouldn't even be stressed about this right now but I am I'm finding now especially with my workload it's been hard to balance life and maybe that's just because I haven't been outside <laughs> in a few days and like watch me go out tonight and be like oh everything's perfectly fine like I'm happy again 
yeah, I've been feeling very, like, weird lately. Definitely burnt out, and, like, don't get me wrong, I'm, like, super grateful to be able to have a full-time job, and I know I'm lucky to be able to have, like, a steady stream of income while also having the time to do art. And I don't want to come on here and complain, uh, <laughs> but it has been... I have been finding it to be super difficult as both of them grow at the same time. It's really like tugging me in both ways and I don't really know what exactly to do. I feel like a lot of my viewers who also have full-time jobs like commend me for being able to do both and find it inspiring and I don't want to give you guys like a false sense of what it is actually like someone to watch like a day in my life and feel bad that they're not feeling as productive to what my videos look like um because I feel like I am very productive in my videos because I am filming the parts of my day where like I actually am doing stuff and I'm not I'm choosing not to film the parts where I'm just laying down the weeks the where like where a week goes by and I don't really do anything besides sit on my computer and be at my job like I'm not filming those parts I don't want someone to feel bad about not being able to balance both because honestly I don't think a person should balance both like it is two full-time jobs that require a lot of work and a lot of attention and I have been doing it for a good amount of time now and it's definitely taking a toll like on my mental health. <laughs> I don't want it to come across as like easy and effortless. I know you guys know like not everything on social media is what it seems. Like I know you guys know that but I just want to say don't feel bad if you are finding it difficult too because I am also finding it difficult. But yeah, recently I've been really debating what I should be doing because I know like deep down inside what I'm doing right now like for my actual job is not what I'm passionate about or like what I should be doing. Like my dream always has been to be an artist and in the field I am in right now, I'm a marketing associate. I've been really debating on whether I should just do it and become a full-time artist. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a very risky person, so it has been quite a struggle. This is the palette I'm using. By the way, I've had this for years and years and years. I honestly should experiment more with my makeup, but you know, I don't have the time to. Maybe if I had that extra time, I would be able to experiment with more stuff. <laughs> I feel like, like right now, I am working on my art on the weekend. I can't help myself from thinking how nice it would be to be able to have my weekends for like friends, family, and other stuff like that. Like, I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of stuff because I am choosing to work on my art rather than go hang out with my friends and I miss them <laughs> but yeah so that is kind of where my head is at right now dream has always been to become a full-time artist like I wanted to be an artist ever since I was little I literally wrote it in my journal and I always bring that up because it blows my mind because I never really thought about that growing up I never thought it would be possible until you guys and I just want to thank you guys because, I don't know, without you, without being able to talk to you, I would probably never have thought I could do art as a job or even like, I wouldn't have pushed myself as hard to pursue art as I have in the past two years. Thank you guys for that. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Much love. Much love. Here, you could put... Here, put your hand to the screen, and then you can make a heart. <laughs> I'm finding it really difficult to do my makeup while I'm talking to you, so I'm gonna go right now, and I'll show you what my finished look is. It's gonna look like what my makeup always looks like. This is my outfit. Um, this used to be a dress that I cut it to be like a shirt, and I've been liking like a little vest moment. Pants are vintage Wrangler. I cut the bottom because they were super long. 
And then, yeah, this is what my makeup looks like. And my jewelry is from Ana Luisa. Thank you, Ana Luisa, for sponsoring this video. Go, girl! If I don't see you tonight, I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. A peace. Peace. <laughs>